I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you're ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. Story number one, put down the fries. You heard me, put down the fries, put down the breakfast burrito, put it all down. A recent survey just found out that one out of five dishes, calorie counts are off. One out of five dishes at restaurants, calorie counts are off, at least by 100 calories. 100 calories, and you might be saying 100 isn't that bad, give or take 100 is not that bad. Over a year, that can add up to 22 pounds. Oh, no, Lord of mercy. No wonder we are constantly shopping for a different size, huh? It's because of those restaurants. And they're saying that the sit-down restaurants are worse than the fast food chains because of portion control. So when you sit down at your local wherever, I'm not going to say any names, but you know who I'm thinking of, CF. And those smart people, you know who I'm talking about, see ya. Um, be careful, because those 100 calories can add up, and they can add up quick. Apparently, due to this survey, uh, they did it in three states, Massachusetts, Indiana, and Arkansas. Thanks for your help. Um, and some of the restaurants that they were testing at was P.F. Chang's and Chili's and Arby's, and they found um, these results. So please, please, everything in moderation. Put the burrito down unless you really, really need the burrito or the pancake sampler platter with extra gravy. Unless you really need it, put it down because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Um, the report that I read said 34% of Americans are obese. 34%. 34, that is a huge, huge number. We got to work on that. So stay healthy, stay fit. Because your family wants you around, your friends want you around. I need you around to watch Andrew Talks. Hello? That should be reason enough. So just be careful. Put the fries. I put the fries down. Put the fries. Did you know that a 20-piece at McDonald's, the nuggets, is two servings? Mm-hmm. Hurt my feelings. About 500 calories per serving. Yeah. Do that math. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome, America. Moving on. Story number two. The words, I, I don't have enough words to express how excited I am. Cartoon Network has decided to make Captain Planet a movie. Yes, indeed. For all those kids around my generation who watched Captain Planet back in the day, it is our time. It is our time. Um, a quick uh, shout out. Shout out to my agent. Listen, I'm ready. I will play Kwame. I will play Mati. I'll even play any of the girls, Guy or Linka. I can't play Wheeler. He was a punk with that fire. He was always setting stuff on fire anyways. He's a punk. I, I didn't like him. I will play any of those characters. Let me know. I could even... Me hablo espanol poquito también. Especialmente para Mati de America del Sur. Si? Okay, verdad. Perfecto. So if I need to speak Spanish, I could do that as well. I could work on the accents for the other ones. So exciting. So Cartoon Network, if you're watching Andrew Talks, which I mean... Why wouldn't you be? Please, please, consider me. Consider me and my agents. Get on that, please. Andrew wants to be on. Wouldn't that be awesome to see Andrew on the Captain Planet movie with the ring on and shooting stuff? And it will just be wonderful. It would, yes, I know, I know. So we will, if we have to, we'll do a Facebook party and whatever it takes to get get on Twitter. Let the let Cartoon Network know. Put Andrew on the Captain Planet movie. Yes, indeed. I know the theme song and everything. I would sing it, but then I don't want this to get cut off of YouTube, taken down because, you know, I'm using someone else's song. But yeah, so look for that probably in the next couple of years. Uh, it's very early on, but Cartoon Network has announced that. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, I have a follow-up story for you all this evening. Uh, there was a lot, a lot of conversation regarding the husband who lost his anatomy um, and was thrown into a garbage disposal by his uh, estranged wife. And the report is that he is in good spirits, as good as you can be. No word on if his genitals were um, surgically um, put back on. And uh, when he was contacted about the whole situation, he responded in saying, and I quote, It is a private matter. <coughs> I know, I know. I'm, I can't write the stuff, people. A private man. Yes, you did. 
Yes, yes, it is a private matter, and we want to know more about it. And so, sir, we're glad that you're doing well. Best of luck to you. Um, as far as I know, his estranged wife is still in custody, and um, again, I will keep this story. Uh, let you guys know every detail because this was crazy. It still is cra a private matter. Have you ever heard a private? Yes, he did say a private matter. Yes, we know it's a private matter. Oh my goodness, you don't, he didn't think it through. I know. The crew is laughing over there. We're having a good time today. A private matter. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, a private matter. A private matter. Speaking of matters, it's time for Real Talk. Real Talk with Andrew. And uh, this week I was juggling around a couple of things. What I want to talk to you guys about. What's real? What's What, what do we need to get to the heart to? And uh, this week I decided to talk about worth. That's right, worth. You gotta know your worth. Uh, a couple of years ago, there was a young lady going through a personal matter uh, that was really difficult for her, and one of my coworkers said, you have to know your worth. And that has stuck with me ever since she, the moment she said it, I just got the goosebumps and the tingle, you know how that happens. And um, it's like she was speaking to me even though she was speaking to that young lady. So you have to know your worth in all things. So whether you're on the job and now, if you're on the job and actually doing your job and doing it well and they're not treating you well, then you can know your worth. If you're at the job sleeping, on the phone texting, not doing what you really need to be doing, then perhaps your worth is not as high as you think it is. But if you are doing everything you need to do at work, getting it done, getting it in beforehand, being the best you can be, and they're still treating you bad, you better know your worth. It might be time to move on and ship out. If you're in a friendship, uh, if you're in a friendship and you're doing everything for that friend, that friend ain't doing a dang thing for you. Hello, you better know your worth. You better know you're worth a million, not just about 52 cents. Come on, get it together. Perhaps you should leave that friend behind. And Lord have mercy, if you are in a relationship and you ain't being treated right, and I'm not even talking about abuse or anything like that. Just not treated right, taken for granted. It might be time to pack it up and move on. Now, sometimes just letting people know your worth, say, hey, 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 I'm worth a little bit more than that. They get hip to it. They're like, you know what? You're right. I'm sorry. They recognize the mistake and they can work with you. Other times you got to say peace out and get out of there. So that is the real talk, real talk, real talk for you this evening. Know your worth in all things. Know your worth. And uh, yeah, that's it. Know it. Know it. And don't be afraid to say it. Now, don't be cocky about it. Talk about you worth 5.6 million when you know you might only be worth two and a hundred thousand dollars and 87 cents. You got to be, you know, let's be responsible here and not be crazy but you know know your worth and make sure others know it and make sure that you live up to your worth as well okay that's the real talk that's the real talk for Andrew Talks and I said it and I would say it again but then it would be repetitive so I won't but yes there you are there you are all right you know what I always say it's already come to the end of the evening I know I know I'm sad about it too but whatever you do, make it great. Make it great. You guys have a great morning, lunch. Don't, maybe bring lunch. Make it a great lunch if you bring lunch instead of going to that restaurant, okay? No, let's do that today. Um, or for tomorrow, since you're seeing this, whatever, whatever the case may be. Have a great evening. Whatever you do, make it great. You know I love you. I will see you next week. This is episode 11. Can you believe it? Episode 11. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.